So a few days ago, I posted a video asking when the Atlantic hurricane season will finally start getting active. Well, today, I actually might have an answer for you guys. Hello, I am Pat's Path Predictor, and we have an analysis for you. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right here. This is uh, the latest uh, model from the European uh, ensembles right here. And what we're looking at, basically, let's take a look first, before we even begin, let's take a look at what's going on in the last 72 hours, because Three days ago, I made a video talking about how this uh, how this would become basically this uh, right here. Well, we're starting to notice that it's it is subtle, but we're starting to notice that. And if we take a look at this right here, you are starting to notice that these darker blues right here they are starting to retract a little bit further to the north. And I've been noticing this, uh, and it's been quite interesting. Like just three days ago, it was all the way down to the windward uh, to the windward islands. Now. It's now attracted past that, and this is an interesting thing we need to take a look at because it looks like the Atlantic has just started to shift as it usually does in late July and early August. It's starting to shift away from a more passive season into a more active season, and we might have our, uh, our first uh, tropical system in a while, and let me show you guys what I'm talking about. We're going to have to go out to July 26th, and this is what we're looking at. Pay attention to this right here, this is the 24th. This right here, everyone needs to pay attention to this because I'm going to show you why in just a second. This thing's going to move out to sea, and if you take a look at it, from the looks at it, it looks like a tropical wave is moving off the coast of Africa, and apparently quite some, quite a strong one as well. And to understand what I'm talking about, let me show you guys what's going, uh, what's going on. First of all, this isn't all one wave. This is an ensemble of waves that the uh, that each European uh, model thinks it's going to happen. Each model run think, thinks it's going to happen. It's like a spaghetti plot. Like this is where we are right here. Some of it has it has it a very weak wave. Some a very strong wave, and some have it even going as far as it becoming a tropical storm strength. But at this point, we're going to have to exercise some caution because this is just one wave. What's so big about it? Let me show you what's big about it. Because this thing, as time goes on, starts developing, it moves, th it moves through the Atlantic, and what do you know? Some, some of the runs have starting to really intensify, and it looks like the Caribbean uh, might be in play for some, tr uh, for some tropical activity. And once again, this is nine days out and everything, but it is quite interesting. It's showing a shift because we haven't seen model runs like this before, and. Not only that, this has been quite a quite consistent trend. Like, let me show you, let's go back to the 12Z of that day before right there, just to give you the context. And take a look at, if we go back to July 26th, there it is again. And where, what does it do? It moves through the Atlantic. It's start, definitely weaker. We're noticing a, str a strengthening trend with the Euro models, but same area. So this is a development that the Europeans are starting to pick up on because before the models were, weren't really de detecting anything until early August. Now we're starting to notice something quite different. And now if we take a, uh, this is at face value of course, we have the latest model run that has yet to come in. Hopefully we can talk about that as well just to see if that trend continues. But, but that trend is quite interesting because if that next model run comes in, it'll either confirm that this is the same it's going to confirm it, or it's either going to weaken, or it's going to confirm it and have it even stronger. Which, if that's the case, then the European's onto something. And it's not just the European that we're taking a look at. Let's go ahead and take a look at the GFS Ensemble right here. And it's kind of the same thing, although it is a little bit different. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And if we take a look at it, same system, same wave right here that's coming off of Africa. Came, coming off of Mauritania and uh, Western uh, Africa right here. So, as you can see, it's this right here. It's a little more scattered. It's a little weaker, of course. But it's so it, the GFS definitely is showing that it's taking a longer time to develop. But if we, if we take a look at it, the same thing happens. I mean, the GFS has, has either a significantly weak or it's not going to happen, of course, or it's going to be a disorganized mess. But the GFS has been picking up on this. Let's go ahead and go back to the zeros. Let's go ahead and go back to the zeros, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what I'm talking about right here. It continues down this road, and yeah, there you go. It's quite interesting to take a look at this because before 
we're looking, yeah, we're seeing some models that have something, but there are always the aggressive ones. This is no longer the case. Even the European model is starting to pick up on this. That spaghetti plot we showed you earlier is depicting potentially a strong system coming through. So this is something we're going to have to pay attention to as time goes on. But in the meantime, this is five days out. This will start to develop on July 26th. But it's quite something we need to pay attention to. So yeah, that's going to be it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Patrick. We're not going anywhere because the 12Z just came in and everyone is going to want to see this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the latest run just came in and we need to take a look at it because we have some interesting stuff coming out of this. All right, this is the tropical wave we have right here. This is just coming off the coast of Mauritania right here and it's moving through the Atlantic. As you can see it, it starts organizing at least according to some models and at least right away, it it's not as strong at the Caribbean as it was last time, but you're gonna wanna stick around for this because yeah, it's not as strong. Uh, we were looking at 1,004, 1,008 millibars. We were at 999 up to 1,000 millibars before. So yeah, it has weakened a little bit, but not exactly down the road. And you can see the models have this thing continuing to organize and develop and I want you to pay attention to this one particular model right here. The one that has 88 on it. I'm circling around it right now. And it's expected to either just pass or make landfall at Cuba. According to this model run, hey, this is th this is 300 hours out, so we don't know anything that far out, but this is according to this model run. And if this scenario played out today, like this scenario today played out, then this is what it kind of would, would look like according to the Euro. And basically this 88 strengthens to 82 and just really ramps up in the intensity right here. And this is 15 days out, this is August 5th, and we're looking at a system with a pressure of 968 millibars right here, and a pressure of 982 right here. And some of these, and some of these systems kind of sc uh, scatter a bit, like the, if we look at a cone of uncertainty, it's the western half of the Gulf of Mexico right here. And it stretches from the Yucatan Peninsula all the way up to the Texas coast, which is where these two strongest models are going to, uh, towards. With the exception, of course, of this 975 uh, scenario right here that's, that's make, expected to make landfall in eastern Mexico at that point. But this is something we still need to pay attention to nevertheless, because this model run just came in. It's showing the exact same thing. And I wouldn't be surprised in the next day for the National Hurricane Center to issue an area of interest. Which, honestly, I'm surprised they haven't already, but at the same time, there is too much uncertainty five days out, so, yeah. But anyway, I wouldn't be surprised if the NHC issues something in the next, five, uh, next day or so. But with that being said, that's pretty much going to end this video at this note. Because we're still going to have to pay attention. Um, I'll continue to update you guys as the situation develops. But with that being said, guys, hit the red subscribe button. It is much appreciated, and stay safe.